Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So in my last video, I showed you guys how to change the brake pads on the Hellcat. Today, I am gonna be going over ceramic coating on what I do to ceramic coat the car. So I will be doing the ceramic coat on the whole entire car after I do the Expel wrap on it. But today, I'm gonna to be doing the inner wheel wells, the brake calipers, shocks, springs, and wheels. And I know the question I've had for, from other people is why would you even waste the money on ceramic coating their inner wheel wells? Well, on a performance car like this that you're going to be at the track and doing smoking burnouts, I've seen this live in person. You know when you're doing smoky burnout and you got all the tire all over the back side of your car and in your wheel well and it takes forever to get the stuff off. Literally with ceramic coating, you just take a towel and you wipe it off and it's as simple as that. So definitely worth the money if you're if you got a truck or lift a truck or whatever and you go off-roading and you get a bunch of mud under there, it's literally just water and the stuff falls off. So firm believer in ceramic coating. I think it's going to be around for a long time. And it's not that expensive, but it's all about the prep. So that's what I'm going to show you guys today is how to prep and what products I use for the Hellcat to ceramic coat the inner wheels, calipers, and um, wheels. All right, so ceramic coating, it's all about prep. So there's a couple things that I use. I use the Adams waterless wash just to clean out the fenders real fast. Um, you could use a detail spray if you choose to do so. After I'm done with that, I use the Mendoza um, control cleaner, which basically strips any oils or whatever. So when you're actually ceramic coating a car or you need to strip, any grease or wax from a vehicle, this is the stuff that I always use. So I mean, pretty simple stuff. You're just gonna spray it in your inner wheels. I first usually just use paper towels to get all the, the crap off because you want this stuff as clean as possible. <laughs> The next step would be any wax stripper products that you might have. I don't want to spray it on my lens because that would probably be bad. And then I normally use just a microfiber cloth to wipe that off. And this will get the majority of all the stuff off because the goal here is to get this as clean as possible so that the ceramic coating Will stick. And the stuff I'm using for an everyday driver should last about two years. Um, that's with driving in snow and really doing some abuse to your car. If it's a garage queen, I mean they don't really give statistics, but I see this stuff lasting a very long time. Probably, I mean it could last a lifetime, who knows, if you're just using it on nice sunny days and not really getting it dirty but just make sure that it's all clean. All right, and lastly, for this, I'm not gonna be using Adams for the outside, but I do like Adams trim coat and their wheel ceramic coating. So the next thing that I'm gonna go ahead and do is do the Adams, which hopefully I can see, it's their coating prep. So this just allows the ceramic coating to adhere to whatever this is sprayed upon. So I'm just gonna spray this all over the inner wheel well and then wipe it off. All right, and lastly, I'll be using Adam's ceramic trim coating. It's probably not gonna be, there we go. That's probably an easier way to see it. I have a headlamp on too. So that's what I'm gonna be using for all the plastics and for the wheels and calipers, I'm gonna be using the ceramic wheel coating. So this has a 9H hardness. I really like the Adams products when it comes to the wheel and trim coating. Not the greatest fan of their car ceramic coating. I feel like it's a little cheaper and it doesn't last as long as some of the other brands, but for stuff like this, they knocked it out of the park. So I continue using this product for this stuff. 
So with the trim coating, it's literally as easy, now that we have everything as prepped as we do, it's literally as easy as just applying it to an applicator. And then once you are done applying, you definitely want to put the cap back on because this stuff dries off, dries out really fast. And then you're just going to apply it. Nice thing about the trim coating is after you apply it, you're actually done. You don't have to wipe this off, but the key is to make sure that you apply it very even so that you don't have any streaks. All right, so I let it dry for a little bit, and this gives you a better example of not that side, it's the C over on that side, so I'll just keep showing you this side. But yeah, so it's all dry right now, um, and it'll stay like that. So this is with a sun lamp on it. There we go. But it just keeps all your plastic looking very new for the life of the car and it doesn't allow dirt to stick to it. So now we're gonna hammer out the calipers. So I'm gonna actually be using a different step on doing the calipers. And then I also do the rotors too, but not, not the rotor itself, but the hub itself. But I don't do where the wheel connects, so it's basically gonna be from here to here. And that just keeps it really nice and black looking. All right, so next up is the calipers use a different product. I actually use what you use on wheels because it's a different hardness and um, heat doesn't really affect it. So in my last video I told you about these black um, calipers. To me Dodge didn't really do a good job. They're just very blotchy looking like this is darker than that which has blotchy everywhere. The ceramic coating really does a good job at leveling that out as you will be able to see here in a little bit. So same thing you're going to apply this, and I've been reusing my applicator pads because it's just the wheels. I would never suggest doing that on the paint of your car because it crystallizes and could scratch. But for this stuff, especially with these calipers, they're not really painted. They're like a gun metal. But you'll be able to see how it evens out. So you just definitely want to take your time on applying here. And with this, you'll be wiping off in about five minutes right before it cures enough to where you can barely get it off. So that's usually, I find a spot that I touch that you really can't see. And once it becomes almost too tacky to where you can't take it off, that's when I know that it's time for the ceramic coating to come off. But it's completely different than what you would do with car paint. You usually wait for that to rainbow and these calipers, it's sort of hard to see the rainbow effect, so... And it's a brake caliper. It's not like it's actual paint. But it already looks ten times better. With the people with red calipers, I would definitely suggest ceramic coating. 
the calipers because the brake dust is just ridiculous on those. That is one thing I like about these black ones. You don't see brake dust hardly at all. Just make sure you get a nice even coat over the whole thing. And then you're going to wait about five minutes and then take it all off. Make sure you do not get it on your rotor itself. That'd be the last thing you'd want to do. Then I'd be getting all kinds of hate mail. More than I already get. <laughs> Using a headlight is key to this if you don't have well light in your garage, which I don't. And that's pretty much it. You're just going to wait for it to dry. Make sure that everything's covered. And it already looks so much better. Oh my goodness. It just evens out the blotchiness of these black rotors. If you have black rotors, this is a necessity in my opinion. Now very carefully, like I said before, I'm going to be doing the calipers or the rotors themselves. Not really where the wheel touches, but I don't know if this is going to actually show up on camera, but it just makes these so much blacker and hopefully it will cause them not to rust. I'm not even sure if these rust that bad compared to some of the other rotors, but I just hate the way rusty rotors look on sports cars or on any car actually. And then very carefully, I'm going to try to do the tops of it. That says April 12th, 15, 15. Oh, I wonder what that means. 2018 car. But maybe they just use the same rotors. Maybe they were all stamped at the same time. I have no idea. And that's about it. So we're just going to wait for it to dry and then wipe it off. Don't wait too long to dry though, just to where it's tacky. And that's basically all you're going to want. All right, so that's been about five minutes, so I'm just going to use a clean microfiber towel. And I sort of did touch it. It was just a little bit tacky, so that's about enough time to actually get it off. And man, does this level the color out so much. These things looked awful from the factory, but now they look somewhat black, and this is with the sunlight on. This is about the worst they'll ever look because the sunlight shows literally every flaw. Which if you're a detailer, get the scan grip light. It is absolutely incredible. But if you're OCD like me, it takes detailing twice as long because you see everything. But yeah, that's about it. To ceramic coat it. Now water and dirt and all that dust should have a harder time sticking to these things than if they were just raw the way that they were. So I have no idea if that's showing up on camera the way it is in person, but man, 
that's night and day difference compared to what they used to look like. I also did this too so I can wipe this off now. All right, so I literally do the exact same steps when it comes to the wheels. Since this is a brand new car, detail spray will be sufficient for getting them clean. Just go around, make sure that they're clean. Greaser. All right, now that we got them clean, we're just going to want to go ahead and spray the prep spray on it and then make sure that you do a good job at drying it all off. All right, and here's the fun part. So you want to make sure that you grab the right coating, so the ceramic wheel coating. I usually do about a half a wheel just because this is important because you just need to make sure that it's timed right. So then you just you apply. I usually use two lamps. I have a sun lamp and then I also have a headlamp that I wear just so I know that I'm applying it even. I'm not too worried about getting it on the tires because I'm going to be replacing these tires very soon. And that should be it. So I went from here to here next step I'll do the other side and then the center. But you just want to make sure that you didn't miss anything. And that's where this headlamp really comes in handy. It's like I missed a spot right in there. And then I missed a spot right there. And besides that, it looks pretty good, so set the timer. I usually take it off in about five minutes. I have a heated garage. Might need longer if you're trying to do this in a not heated garage. Um, but yeah, it's pretty much as easy as that, guys. So after this is done, wait five minutes, and then you're just going to wipe it off, and that's pretty much it. So this will give you about two years of daily driven all four seasons of protection. I mean, if it's a garage car, then this stuff will last a very long time. So get this at Adams. I, I mean, their wheel coating and their trim coating, like I said before, I love. I think it works great. Their ceramic coating, I mean, it's okay, but it's definitely consumer grade. Um, but I think they knocked it out of the park with their wheel and trim coating. But yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and finish the rest of this wheel, put it back on the car. And in the next couple of weeks, I'm going to have the car wrapped with the Expel. So I'll be going through the whole process of doing that. And then I'll be ceramic coating the whole entire car. And then hopefully we'll be ready for summer so I can actually start making videos of the car. But I thought some of you guys might like to see how I do my ceramic coating on my vehicles. And Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. If you don't like it, go ahead and comment because that helps too. So anyways, thanks a lot guys, appreciate it. And I'll see you guys in the next video.